What's up, YouTube? I'm here with my friend. Forrest, say what's up. What's up, guys? And this is his tank. Well, what's left of the fish room, anyways. You can go ahead and talk about what your fish room is and whatnot. But at one point in time, I had like 20 of these. And then one tank by one, my mother comes in and kills hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of fish. So, hopefully if there's something swimming around and looking half-ass fishy in here, she won't kill a couple thousand dollars worth of plants, too. <laughs> so, Goose came over, brings me his ugly-ass male, because his female obviously died. Fins look great, I'm not a huge fan of the color. Goose usually breeds much better shit. But this is what's left of his tank. Right. Java Moss Mountain over there. Fuck ton of Aspen Jinton. They breed like hell in here, they just never get very big. <laughs> Corkscrew valve in the back, sort of. Notice how it goes up and over. We got like eight foot of corkscrew veil on some of these. Imagine the root systems on these things. Oh, dude, they're deep. They're like this. <laughs> the only thing you can't grow is that kabamba shit. You got snails in here? Not as bad as I did. I'm running like a 10% brackish mix. My friend used to have guppies, and uh, let's just say massive suicide holocaust went down. They had really nice guppies, too. Dude, there were 3,000 purples in there, man. I and still then there was like close to 800 albino bristlenose plecos. I think we just shocked the fuck out of this fish trying to put him back in here. You think so? I don't know, dude. We went from 84 degree water to not registering. <laughs> he lives, he lives. I'm not too worried about it. He was in a tank where I wasn't feeding him anyways. So, this is my friend's fish tank. I was a lot nicer. But a people hell, kill my shit. A hell of a lot nicer. I swear to God, every time I leave town, <laughs> my shit is dead. <laughs> I say, you had it really nice, actually. I was jealous. I think your Java Moss Mountain is awesome. The Java Moss Mountain is awesome. Yeah, we're gonna shock him. You think so? Yeah. What's your, is your heater turned on? Heater's turned on, set at 76. Feel if it's kick, yeah, it's definitely kicking. I don't know, if he survives the first adjustment, the second one will be gradual. I think he'll be alright. He's just a pussy. Cichlids usually are. Yeah, I said it, cichlids are pussies. <laughs> Piranha will take an Oscar any day of the week if you get the right one. Not a red belly Paku. That's not a piranha. Black fin. <laughs> I don't know. I still like Jack Dempsey's though. I think they're cool. Those are slightly less pussies. You know the biggest pussy of all the pussies of a cichlid is definitely a discus. That's a pussy. Angelfish, I think, are more aggressive than that. Well, angelfish are actually fairly fucking aggressive. Nobody seems to notice because they buy them and they're cute and little and then they get big and start killing everything. <laughs> I think it's funny whenever people are like, hey, I'm missing some guppies. That's because you didn't feed your angelfish. Angelfish will rip... I've seen an angelfish rip a head off of a guppy because it was hungry, dude. Well, you remember when we put the big ones in my tank with all those shit guppies for a minute? I went from, like, overpopulation to population controlled. <laughs> Your little wiggy looks really nice, though. Yeah, yeah little white plants seem to do real well under the T12s. These T12s? Yeah, this would be the T12. Honestly, I prefer the T8 I gave you, because, dude, the plant growth bulb on that bitch was fucking nuts. I like T5, but I haven't afford can't afford it yet. I do quad T5. That's some crazy light. <laughs> I've seen them. Unfortunately, the only people who have the money for that ain't us, or we'd be growing way cooler shit, boys. You hear that, you two? Send us money, we'll grow you some awesome crap. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's doing pretty good in here, though. It's a weird off color, like it's almost like dying, but it's not. It's all growing just fine. I don't like the way, like, that's trident fern. See that? Those should be massive, and instead they just kind of dwarf out on me. All of them do in your tank, it's weird. Well, the ferns do anyways. 
everything else seems to grow straight up and not out. Yeah, but you remember when you had this, it grew super tall and now it's not? Yeah. Well, the, I had it under that other light system. So that thing I cannot believe is alive. He was sitting in a tank. Is it alive? Well, he just swam there. He might have chose to swim there and die, though. <laughs> he looks dead, dude. Find out real quick. You did not just <laughs> He just die. died. You asshole. Nope, he's still alive. <laughs> he's just tricked. He's just playing dead, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, if he lived through that, no light, no thing, which means he has accepted water temperatures below 54 degrees. That's crazy, though. You have that <laughs> freaking... That's insane. Yeah, dude, I cannot believe anything lived through that. For the record, YouTube. If you want to get a kid of fish, buy him a Corridor's catfish. They don't die. I'll buy now. <laughs> That's funny. No, uh, something I've noticed is his light. He has different water than I do. My water comes out a lot softer. Like, I can literally go tap water to fish. And I have straight, hard-ass rainwater water, which means my snails are impossible to crunch. Really? Mine are soft to crunch. Like, Dude, that little bitty one right there, man, you're going to be like... <laughs> it takes like almost eight pounds of pressure. That's crazy. <laughs> but and yours are just like food, food. My discus eat them too, which is funny. But um, his water is a lot different from mine, and his lights are a lot different. So he grows plants differently from mine do. I have the same plants he does for the most part. He has trident from right here and, his, and java from right here, and it grows, but it grows weird, like it's burnt out or something. So usually what we do is I go and make a mass of babies and here goose raise these up to size Seems to work out pretty well for us. Yeah, but your little is growing up to size and you don't have to do shit Yeah, that must be one hell of a low-light plant. They're all low-light plants. That's the thing. None of these are highlights. None of them I just don't understand why your ferns grow weird like that 24-hour light cycle maybe Mm-hmm Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want to see Forrest again, feel free. Comment below. Uh, he wants to do the milk challenge and the saltine cracker challenge. And the milk challenge are on saltine crackers. Not so much. I can't eat them things regular. Well, me and Matt said we would do it. So we're going to have uh, other videos. I just figured I'd show you guys Forrest's tank. It was a lot cooler. He had this and he had two tens. He had another 55. I feel like you've had more than that. Yo, you remember, you used to walk into this room, and it was pretty much Gustavo's fish room, from that wall to that wall. Yeah, not anymore. So This is what happens when you have a mother that hates fish and knows golf clubs. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.